Do you find cooler people wanting to work here because your stores are cool and fashionable? I think it's a component. I, I think aesthetics matter, um, specifically for younger demographics. But no, I think the core reason is because we're, we're good to our people and uh, we pay a livable wage and uh, we do a lot of things that other restaurant businesses just don't do. Doug Jacob, co-founder of Ann Pizza. You ready to answer some questions? Let's do it. Pizza didn't seem disruptable. How'd you find the white space? Well, I think we started with, you know, developing a concept that reflected us as individuals and we were counterculture as ourselves and, and what we were doing. And so we started with that. How important is the actual pizza? Uh, you know, product is a prerequisite today, specifically if you're going into urban markets where we're urban out, which means we start in urban cities and then we'll, we'll scale out to, to suburbs. So it's incredibly important. You know, we take the quality of our pizza to great lengths and we make sure that the, the, the vendors that we work with uh, are the best of the best. It feels like you have some leeway though because the, like the brand is so cool and it's like all the design is great that it's like, oh, that look, already looks delicious. So, you know, I feel like the pizza's less of a factor when the branding is so hot. I think that that has happened, not on purpose. I think that again, though, we, we continue to concentrate on the core economics of our business and, and obviously product being one of them. And you're seeing in today's age that that's gonna be more and more important. Um, sort of this pie in sky, I'm worth X. Uh, but the core fundamentals of the business don't work. Uh, it, you know, that's going to come to, uh, I think, an intersection, and it already has. So I, we've, yes, we've we've had some leeway, but we've also concentrated on the product the whole way through. Black is usually something people shy away from. Why'd you lean into it? Uh, it's the only color that my business partner wears. I've never actually seen him in color. So it started with that again. It reflects sort of our personal style. And we're starting to change that and evolve that as the brand becomes a little bit wider and, and a little bit more friendly. Notice the addition of the color yellow in your downtown store. Why? Truthfully, it started because the space is very small and uh, the worst way to make a, a space you know, smaller is to paint it black. Uh, so yellow and white uh, felt like a, some sunshine in a, in a place where we're close to a recession. And, uh, and honestly, there wasn't too much else behind it other than that. And now because we've liked the reaction from it and being a little bit more friendly as a brand, we're gonna introduce colors as we expand and, and scale. If you had to give a dictionary definition of your design aesthetic, what would it be? Modernism uh, meets bold colors. Has anyone tried fashion pizza before? Are there any copycats? Uh, there's certainly copycats now, um, but no, I, I don't believe prior to us there, there were, but we are we're gonna take it a step further and start, start merchandising seasonality similar to a fashion brand. Do you find cooler people wanting to work here because your stores are cool and fashionable? I think it's a component. I, I think aesthetics matter, um, specifically for younger demographics. But no, I think the core reason is because we're, we're good to our people and uh, we pay a livable wage and uh, we do a lot of things that other restaurant businesses just don't do. So much of a food service brand are the people that you interact with. How do you make sure your employees are on brand? Uh, we make them interview via video. Uh, which I think is quite different. And we do that because they have to feel comfortable submitting themselves on video. Uh, and because of that, uh, we know that they're comfortable in front of a customer. So it helps us kind of weed out uh, you know, tribe members that, that wouldn't be um, part of our culture or that wouldn't fit well with our customer. What do you love more, business or pizza? Business. What was the hardest thing you've had to learn on the job? To work with others. Uh, <laughs> I like to be in control of the things that I'm in control of. And so I think, you know, I, I've learned to deal with different personalities in, in a better way than I used to. What part of the business sucks? I think the retail part of the business sucks. Like always dynamic, the, that, that, that is dynamically changing. And I think we are, we are seeing sort of the, the height of expenses when it comes to retail. So that, that's been the toughest part. So the overhead? The overhead, yeah, and it's capital intensive. What's next for you? Not retail business. How important is community? Community to us is, is is incredibly important. You know, I think being a purpose-driven brand and, and not just using that as a buzzword, that's where how we started and that's the core of us. You know, without community, you, you really can't speak to speak. Now, how many people do you think if they heard Am Pizza would say purpose-driven? I, I, I think out of our consumers that use our brand uh, on a frequent basis, close to 90% of them. As the outside, it looks like a cool fashion brand. I wouldn't say purpose, but you keep saying purpose. So. Yeah, I think in our in our largest market, and as, thing, as we start to build mass within each one of the markets, you'll start to understand it better. Like, you know, New York City has three stores, whereas Washington DC, Virginia area has 18 stores. So I think as we start to build up volume within our core markets, you'll understand it better. So maybe if I had to back up that answer, if you're in the DC area, 
it's probably 90%. As we get into the new markets, we probably could do a better job of, of communicating that. What part of your brand still needs work? Obviously, our, our, our ability to tell our story and being a purpose-driven brand needs work. I would say that we need to continue to evolve to the marketplace to understand delivery. It's difficult to maintain quality. Um, and third-party delivery is not an easy th an easy game to get. So I think the delivery game. And then, you know, we want to continue to refine uh, our technology and our ability to communicate with consumers in the new way, which we think we are doing through text. What is the key to your brand? The key to our brand is is the principles that, that, that we stand behind and I, I think the product quality for sure. Who do you consider your competitor? Uh, we consider our competitor Domino's and Papa John's and um, and yes, the, the mods and the blazes of the world, but it, we'd like to be on a stage where we're competing with um, larger pizza. How has the marketplace changed since you launched? Well, I think the convenience continues to be the story. Uh, you know, people want still experience in store, but they also want to be able to get the pizza when they when they want the pizza and they want the quality of that pizza to be, you know, as good as it is inside of the store. So, I think that this idea of being um, nimble with the size of our uh, of our boxes has changed, and, and I think we've been at the forefront of being able to do that, so that we can serve you know people at a 400 square foot space the same way that we could at a 1500 square foot space. What's next? And burgers. <laughs> I think for us, next is is, is potentially a, a something in CPG. Do you think some of the things that make Ann Pizza special in the retail environment no longer translate in the CPG space? And how, what do you do to make up for that? I don't think it's always a one-to-one, -one, but I think um, as it pertains to our brand, it does translate. Whether it's the shape, um, it, it's the purpose behind it, it's the style, it's the taste, it's the ingredients that are better. We're not trying to be a cauliflower pizza or, or a healthy pizza, but we're trying to be a pizza with better ingredients, cleaner. Is there anyone that has tried to do what you've done before and are you looking at them as an example of what to and not to do? Within CPG or just well, in general? Well, you offer a pizza and I presume there's a huge frozen pizza market. So naturally, other than California Pizza Kitchen is the only one I can think of yeah. where they try to take the retail experience, put in thing, and if they don't align and one might mar the other brand. Yeah. So what do you do to make sure that doesn't happen and people don't conflate them? Well, I think we're positioned nicely as a retail brand to um, you know, serve the masses, which is why we have our eyes on, on competing with big pizza. And so because of that, I think that there is a white space in the market for frozen pizza to also do the same. So better for you, cleaner ingredient, cooler brand, purpose driven, but still for the masses. Whereas you're seeing some of the specialty pizzas, you know, sell for, you know, upwards of 15 to $20. Um, and then you have pizzas where they have a lot of, you know, fake cheese, et cetera, in it that are at $6, right? So if we can position ourselves, you know, similar to what we serve inside of our retail stores at a $9 pie, but with much better ingredients and without chemicals, I think we'll, we'll do quite well. So you said you compete with the big boys like Domino's and Papa John's in retail, then who are you gonna be competing with in the freezer? I think we're gonna try and compete with the DiGiorno's and the Tombstones of the world. Uh, that, that's our goal. Feels like you could do it. Yeah, I think we can. What individual marketing PR media influencer has been the most impactful to date? I think the ones that we reacted to well that we didn't necessarily plan. Pizza Intern, uh, there was an intern in, in DC that, that kind of popped up uh, in a moment when everybody was watching CNBC and was sitting there eating Ann Pizza without knowing that there was a camera there. And we were able to kind of merchandise that pretty quickly and, and create hallway pizza. What's your social media strategy? For the brand, it, it, it needs to reflect both the aesthetic that we carry through our stores as well as the principles that we have as a brand. So it's sticking to those and, and being authentic towards those. Doug Jacob, co-founder of Ann Pizza. Thanks for answering my questions. You got it. I'm Ian Wishagrad, and we'll see you next time on I'm With The Brand. We'll